Welcome back to the channel. My name is Usman. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on a cigar from a brand called Regis. Now, Regis, they generally make inexpensive cigars, predominantly using Nicaraguan tobacco. However, recently, they started producing cigars using Peruvian tobacco. And their latest cigar is the Serie Limitada from Regis. And it's a Peruvian puro. So the whole cigar, filler, wrapper, binder, the whole thing made of Peruvian tobacco. And it comes with this gold and white band. Personally, I really like the standard black and gold band that we just have on their normal cigars. I think that looks really nice. This band, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. However, I've, I've smoked a few of these cigars and I have to say, they're quite interesting. They're very interesting, especially when you consider the inexpensive price point. I mean, these are ridiculously good value for money. So I thought I'll do a review and maybe start like a little series of videos on the channel where I'm reviewing budget line cigars. So hopefully, you know, we're not always talking about super expensive cigars and, you know, crazy cigars that are out of reach for most people. Um, I think that it'd be a good idea to talk about budget cigars as well because someone left a comment and I thought, Good point. But um, yeah, so I've got the Robusto over here, five inches long, 50 ring gauge. And uh, I figured we'll start off with this one, see what this cigar is all about. And uh, I can give you my thoughts. So let's cut this, light this and get straight into the review. First few draws on the uh, Regis Limitada, and in terms of construction, the burn is a little bit crooked, and I've also touched it up. So, lit it, took some puffs, started being a bit wonky, I touched it up, and it remained wonky. So, that might cause a few problems, that might be a problem in terms of, con in terms of the construction. Uh, normally, I don't really knock off points when it comes to the burn, but this is still wonky after I touched it up. In terms of the draw, the draw is perfect. Perfect draw, good amount of resistance, firmly packed so lots of tobacco in the cigar it's not loose it's not it's not you know skimping out on the tobacco it's it's a good well packed firm draw cigar love that in terms of the flavors the first like literally the first two puffs wasn't a fan first two puffs it just started off with this really ugh, soapy flavor that was not working for me but then that burnt off almost immediately on the third one and then as soon as i started getting into the uh um, first half an inch of this cigar that's when the flavor started coming out and this is excellent now like genuinely enjoying it um spicy cedary woody and this heavy note of like an oily nutty flavor there's this sweetness on the back like that sweetness is just kind of the aftertaste on the cigar but that first hit of spice whoo that's working for me i mean i like spicy cigars and this this delivers so yeah first impressions somewhat of a mixed bag but overall quite positive coming to the halfway point now in terms of construction the uh, draw is still excellent on the cigar really good firm draw and lots of smoke coming out as well. The burn, I've had to touch it up quite a lot. The burn hasn't been that good. And also when I took off the first band, it caused damage to the uh, wrapper leaf. So a little disappointed about that. However, in terms of flavors, this cigar is excellent. I mean, even if you don't consider the price, take price completely out of the equation. Like if this, even, if this cost even more than what it did, it would still be an excellent cigar. Like this is surprisingly good. The flavor notes, there's this like really nice peppery, spicy flavor, which is just on the top end. This heavy kind of woody, nutty flavor underneath. And then there's this like sweet aftertaste. It's remained very consistent, but it's just become a little bit more saturated. Um, some of those, um, some of those kind of off notes that were at the beginning, they've completely gone and now it's just tasting like a premium cigar. This does not smoke. I mean, construction wise, sure, there might be some issues on this particular cigar. I mean, obviously cigars tend to be, the, I mean, well, premium cigars are hand rolled, so issues can occur. So I'm not gonna hold that against this particular cigar, but in terms of like just raw flavors, this is beautiful. I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this cigar. I mean, I have to say, 
some of the minor construction issues aside, this is brilliant. Genuinely brilliant. Coming to the final section of this cigar, and I have to say, I am properly impressed with this cigar. Take the price and the fact that it's a budget cigar completely out of the equation, and if you just look at this as a cigar, it is excellent. Like, flavor-wise, this is brilliant. In terms of construction, sure, it had a few issues, but no complaints. Now, I think at the beginning, you know, maybe there was, there was a bit of a problem there, but that corrected itself after the halfway point. And since then, it's been great. So. Probably just one of those one-off things that you get occasionally with some cigars. This is the kind of cigar that I would honestly smoke regularly, quite happily. The flavors are great. The burn was okay on this cigar. The draw was exactly as I like on a cigar. I mean, honestly, I have nothing negative to say about the actual cigar itself. The flavor is very consistent. I mean, it's pretty much the same across the board from beginning to end, which I like. I like a consistent cigar. I don't like cigars that keep hopping around all these different flavors. If I'm enjoying a particular flavor profile, I want to continue enjoying that, that flavor profile. And this cigar does exactly that. I mean, I know I said, you know, we're not going to talk too much about the price, but this is 13 pounds in the UK for a Robusto. I mean, for, the, for, for you guys in the US, that might seem like a lot, but considering our tax, that is bargain level price. That, that is like ridiculously inexpensive considering that, uh, um, this is a long filler premium tobacco, premium cigar, and it tastes so good. Like, I'm, I'm impressed, genuinely impressed, highly recommend it. Honestly, boxes, I'd say boxes. This is definitely one of those cigars that you want to, you want to buy a few boxes of. Um, yeah, Regis Siri Limitada. The band, not a fan, <laughs> but the cigar, whoo. That's a good cigar. Anyway, just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and uh, hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you.